What's up everybody? If you're tuning in today because you're wanting to check out the Therm Pro Twin Temp Spike, well here it is. Welcome to the channel. Uh, for anybody returning, you might know already that a few weeks ago for Labor Day, I had a little bit of a, uh, a thermometer issue with the built-in probes on my Traeger. So ever since then, I've been researching um, what I want. Fortunately, then I had a backup and I was able to have a successful cook, um, but I definitely want something that's more robust that I can trust because we're all only as good as the tools we have. Um, so this is not a paid promotion. Since that issue reared its ugly head, I've been researching and this is what I have chose. I have chosen the Therm Pro Temp Spike. Um, and we're going to unbox it together today. I'm going to tell you why I chose it and we're going to cook with it. Um, we're going to, we're going to give it a test. So first off, it's written on the box. Um, truly wireless Bluetooth cooking thermometer. Okay. So I was really fascinated with the idea of it being truly wireless. Um, I wanted two probes. This is the twin temp spike. Um, I chose it because the competitor on Amazon was $60 more. A um, little bit of research. Uh, this was first available uh, November 16th of 2022. So it's not even been available to the public for a year yet, uh, but we're coming up on it. It's got 4.4 stars on Amazon. And to be honest with you, uh, this is a Therm Pro, which is a name that I recognize. Actually, the backup in, in my Labor Day episode was a Therm Pro. I've had that for 10 years. Um, so let's open this thing up. Uh, first off, it's got a very nice packaging. I'm a big fan of uh, this kind of slide-in bottom shell. I'm not sure what you would call that. So let's go ahead and cut that open here and see what we got. Okay. It's looking pretty good. It's got a nice package here. Um, it's got this clear cover that slides off, I can see. Yeah. Okay. Comes fully charged. Okay. So the the probes are fully charged. The unit is two thirds. Let's go ahead. Before we play with it, let's see if there's any documentation in here. Okay. Ooh. It comes with a thermometer brush. Never knew that was a thing. Comes with a charging cable. It is USB-C. I appreciate that as more and more of my things are becoming um, rechargeable. They have a legitimate uh, reach out for customer support should you have issues. Some nice tips here. You know, just your standard run of the mill. Um, if, you're, if you've been working a thermometer a little bit, you know how it works here. So let's see here. What do we need to know? All right, so first it actually says that we need to uh, download and install the Temp Spike app. Okay, we need to charge the booster and then we need to pair the probes. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. All right, so I got a charger with a longer cable. 
and let's first see if we can use this while charging. Kind of looks like it. So let's go ahead, leave that do its thing. Let's download the app. We're looking for the Temp Spike app. Let's get it installed. Okay. I'm going to allow it, allow it. Yeah. Is it already added? There's no way it was that easy. No way. No way. I didn't have to sign up for an account. I allowed it to have permissions. I didn't have to pair it. That was the easiest device I have ever bought. Look at that. Ambient temperature 72 degrees. And my hand is slowly warming up. Oh my goodness. All right, I am impressed. So, well, so what happens if I put it back in here? Oh, okay, I got it. There's that. And then, switch over to this one. Wow. Okay, um, I've not actually been impressed with something like this in quite some time. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to let this fully charge for a little bit. And then um, we're, I'm going to boil some water. And we're going to make sure that they're around 212 degrees. Um, and then we're going to cook something, alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and close up shop here and uh, move you over into the kitchen. I'll see you right back in just a bit. All right, so I got some water boiling here. And we're just going to, real quick, before we cook, test the accuracy of the temp spikes. So boiling water should be at 212 degrees. And it will vary very slightly depending on your elevation and uh, salt content of the water or mineral content whatever so uh, right there 212 I don't know if you can see that on camera or not so confirmed so let's go ahead pull out our temp spikes I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off. If 
I can get under it here. So you'll see ambient temperature is correct. That's the inside temp of the house. Oh, that's the white probe. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. Maybe I should have read the directions first. Yeah. Let's uh, check our white one. Check that out. It's also right there. So switch to the white probe. Try that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually the max for these probes. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was a good test. I don't want to damage my brand new probes, so I... Um, pulled them, obviously, as you saw. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And let's go ahead and let's try these things out. Yeah, I'm excited. Here we go. All right. So today we're cooking a chuck roast that I'm cooking just like the brisket where this whole temperature uh, probe thing started. So this has been dry brined, just like in that episode. It's been seasoned and then wrapped for 12 hours, just like in that episode. Um, I'm gonna wrap it at 160, just like we did. And then I'm gonna pull it at 190 because that was really good. We're gonna use one probe for that to test the dual probe thing. And then I got a whole chicken over here uh, with the the cavity is stuffed with onion, celery, and carrots, and then it's just been seasoned with salt and pepper, tied up to keep everything together. So, let's go ahead with our black probe. Uh, put him into the thickest part of the beef, and in the directions, it told us to go up to this line. So that's important. And this, I'm going to avoid this muscle separation here as I don't want to get 
air around the probe and have a false reading. So I'm gonna stick it kind of like this. All right. I think that's pretty good. Let me go rinse my hand off real quick. And switch over to the white probe. We want to put same thing. It's got that indicator mark. We want to go swap these around for you. I always smoke my breast side up. We want to go into the meatiest part of one of the breasts. And you want to remember there is uh, the sternum in the middle here. You don't want your probe touching bone. You can get a false reading. So I'm going to kind of do this here. Easy there. Mm. I'm not certain I got the angle where I wanted. I'm going to go more like this, I think. There we go. I like that much better. So we got our two probes here. Let's see what they're reading. So the chicken probe is still acclimating. And I believe our chuck roast is also still acclimating. And that is from the probes being at room temperature. So that's going down just a little bit. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead. I'm going to throw these on the smoker. And let's watch that. I tell you what. So first off, if we go here, I'm going to hit start recording. Start recording temperature data. Okay. Um, I have the smoker set to 275. So we're going to just adjust this a little bit. Um, I'm going to leave the alarm for ambient off for now. Let me go put these on the smoker and let's see what we can see. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. So we're on, um, Let's go ahead and start customizing this thing here. So first off, let's go ahead and rename it. Goodness, learn to type. Oh, there we go. Neighbor's Therm. Let's see here. So. Our black probe is the beef. Okay, so it's got these uh, profiles. So if we go here, okay. Well, so I want a alarm at 160 when I want to wrap that. So I'm gonna hit okay. Oh, that's neat, okay. So it tells us if you have a temp spike plus to go all the way to the the handle and the temp spike which is what we have go to the notch which you saw me do already I continue uh, make sure the booster is at least one foot away from the cooking appliance um, I'll show you that here in a minute hit continue okay so we got our Oh, that's pretty neat. So it's got a uh, 
This is like a car gauge. It says where we're going. Uh, ambient still climbing. I had the I had the lid open, so that's gonna keep climbing. Uh, let's see here. So the chicken. I want this to be poultry. Okay. We get that again. Continue. I'm gonna click don't remind me again. I think I got it. And there's that. Okay. So before you start wondering why these are so different, um, I let the beef uh, acclimate at room temperature longer than I did the chicken because you gotta be a little more careful with chicken. Um, and by not shocking beef, the chicken is skin on. Um, so it's gonna remain moist, um, but I try to not shock my beef whenever I can. So there we go, we're recording. I'm going to have my alarm on. I'm gonna leave my alarm off on the ambient temperature for now. There we go. Save that, 200, 250. Let's see if we can do the same here. We'll just play with it. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh, I had it. There we go. And, uh, what, 250? I don't know why I have to do this. Whatever, 255. Fine. Um, leave that there. So. Oh, okay. You know, for not reading the instructions, I have to say, this is actually a very intuitive uh, app. Um, so I went up to the top right-hand corner to start recording. It looks like we're only recording uh, the, the white probe. So I'm gonna go over here, and it looks like I can also click it there. Maybe, there we go. Boom. Okay. So, Oh, that's cool. Target 160. Ambience climbing. All right. If you wish to close, your phone will stop monitoring temperature and you won't receive any alarms. I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay. Yeah. So how do we... What's under tools? Recording. Oh. That's the wrong app. I'm an idiot. Alright guys, I'm gonna let this cook for a while. Pun intended. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. This is fun. So far, I'm all thumbs up. I have no complaints. Uh, this thing's pretty neat. So, all right guys, I'll catch you here in a bit. See you. So, as you will see here, I've lost our chart. So if you try to exit the app, you get this uh, alert and it means it. So, I've been playing around a little bit, so if we start recording for me I have um, the back button, swipe left or right and I want to see if minimizing it, so it says temp spike running in the background okay So I'm not going to have good data for you, unfortunately, but we're getting there.
every time I exit the app too accidentally, uh, the estimated time left gets a little wonky. Which I guess makes sense. So just be careful of that. That's kind of the first kind of hiccup I've had. Um, but I'm really liking this. Um, <clears throat> I'm digging on it in every way so far. Um, oh, see? It's <laughs> bad habit. <clears throat> Hit cancel. Go back in here. We're climbing. All right, everybody, take a look at this. So um, we're about ready to wrap the chuck, and the chicken is nearing the end. Uh, last time we upped the temperature to 250, and you can still see that that variable is there. That's okay. That's just how it works. It's one of those things you got to realize and learn how to work around. Um, so I'm going to cut, cut the video here. Uh, this video is about the product. It's not about the food. So I'm not going to try to beat myself up trying to think about what it is I want to relay to you about this product and also try to capture all the steps of this food. It, well, I'm not doing that. This is a specific video for the ThermPro Twin Temp Spike. So I've been thinking about this and so here's my ratings uh product presentation and packaging um 10 out of 10. this is a nice easy to read manual it's not uh, a booklet this just goes in the miscellaneous drawer in case i have any any questions i'm digging on the cardboard packaging here i hate those plastic hard to get into vacuum machine sealed things that I mean this is it doesn't get any more simple than that it's attractive it's their colors comes with a brush that's cool uh, so 10 out of 10 product configuration 11 out of 10 this app um, we're 153 I gotta get going here um, okay when I don't have to sign up for a new account, that's a big win in my book. Didn't have to sign up for a Therm Pro account. Um, I gave it access to my phone and it was off to the races. I didn't have to configure or pair or anything. Um, and if I did, they have right here, uh, well, I just threw it on the floor, but it looks like they have uh, customer support ready to go. That's cool. Um, so I, no complaints, um, quality, uh, I'm going to go neutral, uh, because this is the first cook, because I did purchase this with a little bit of bias because I have had Therm Pro products before. I will say, I think it's a quality product. I like it. I have no complaints. I'm just being upfront with you. I'm going to remain neutral on that answer because it's so brand new to me. Um, obviously, I can't wait to start using this thing. So if you keep tuning in whenever we're outside or um, I'm going to use this this winter in the oven. Um, so, you know, maybe we can do a follow up on this. Um, but so far, I, I, I'm on the side of the thumbs up. Uh, value. All right. So this is $139.99 off of Amazon. The closest competitor was $109.99. Okay, so I don't know what another $60 would, would bring to the table over this. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's something hidden there that I didn't know I needed. But uh, I have no complaints. This is my first truly wireless um, thermometer set. This is my first thermometer set that works through an app on the phone. Um, that's cool. Um, would I recommend this? Yes. But perhaps not to everybody. Okay? And let me tell you why. There is an added cost to this to get this on your phone. You can get the same thing that's not wireless, but, or I guess like half wireless, kind of like the one you saw in the Labor Day video. 
um, where you can carry the thing around, or you can carry this around uh, to some degree. Um, so you're you're paying for a little bit of technology, which I like. I really like the graph. You're not going to get that from the lower end model. Um, but at the end of the day, yes, I recommend this if you're looking into it and you can afford it. Um, but a partially wireless one will do just the same thing, and ThermPro makes those too. I have one. They're also excellent. Um, and that's just me being as objective as I can. Um, this app is, I love it. Um, a little clunky uh, if you accidentally X out of it. I've been trying to train myself on how not to do that. Uh, or I guess I reprogram my <laughs> my habits. Um, but look at that, where both of them are at 153. So, um, yeah, I'm, I like it. I really like the fact that it's rechargeable. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, they do make a single version, I believe. Um, but guys, I'm about to have these coming off the grill, and that's not what this video is about. I hope this answered some of your questions. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. And uh, hey, until next time, be well.